Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is August 21st, and right now we are looking at the infrared slash visible satellite imagery. You can see the sun rising across the lower 48. You can see the tropical moisture and tropical storm Hillary. Its depression is now up across Oregon and into Idaho. A lot of moisture came up and around this ridge here. It was handed off by this upper level low to this trough and moves across the area. Some pretty good rainfall amounts expected as we go through the day today. Rain ongoing as we speak. We'll take a look at those details have some still some pretty good smoke covers across bc washington and oregon and we'll take a quick look at that map here as well and some of the air quality coming up you can kind of see that smoke drifting around bc into washington got a little bit of a marine layer in here as well here so kind of a combination of clouds and smoke there across some of the seattle metro but you can see the pretty extensive cloud cover as well as this tropical and subtropical moisture moves up over the region and looking at Seattle yesterday, 80 degrees we ended up getting to. And it's above average, even though there's a pretty thick layer of smoke out there. Couldn't really get outside too much yesterday. And a lot of the areas here, pretty thick, noticeable smoke out there. Should be a little bit better today and probably on a slow increase here as we go on in through tomorrow. A little bit of onshore flow coming. And if you want a nice, affordable home with that weather station, click on the link down below to save 10% off. Stores all the data for you in the cloud. Nice ultrasonic anemometer, haptic grain gauge, all solar powered and wireless. And if you are Austin R, Overseer Philip Whitehead, Piero Brewer, or Matt Winberry, please contact me. You guys have won one of these giant mugs. These are 20 ounce mugs. These things are huge and it fills, you know, it allows me to fill it up all the way with my morning coffee here. I, I, don't, I don't like those little mugs. I like the big ones here. So you can add a little bit of creamer or whatever you want, some coconut milk or almond milk or whatever as well. But yeah, if you are one of these people here, go ahead and contact me. And another thing, we will be giving away a couple of these mugs here too in a live stream coming up probably tomorrow. And I'll also be giving another weather station away here in the next couple of weeks too. And if you are a member of this page, you will automatically be uh, joined here into the drawing. Click on the link, uh, the little join button down below the video here if you want to join up and become a member. So yeah, anyway, back to the weather here. You can see the smoke across the area. This is the... The high resolution rapid refresh as of this morning, you can kind of see the smoke bouncing around a bit here, kind of maybe getting a little bit worse. We go through the afternoon, but not as bad as yesterday. And you can see as we go through tonight, it's supposed to clear out here. Hopefully this is the case, but you can still see some of the smoke hanging around some of the North Cascades, the central and southern Cascades of Oregon, British Columbia, and some of it swirling around eastern portions here as we go through the next few days here as well. But yeah, nobody likes the smoke. Here we go with the air quality index. Some improvement here across western Washington, western Oregon. You can see eastern Wa uh, Washington and Oregon still have very poor air quality. Once you get further off towards uh, some of the Blue Mountains here, it's a little bit better in southeast Oregon as well. And some of this rainfall will be helping also, but very poor air quality across a lot of British Columbia as well. We still have the fires continuing on across the region. You can see the air quality index at my house peaked yesterday. Pretty nasty spike there, but you can see the improvement is underway here as we go through the day today much much appreciated and this is a uh, for southeast washington here national weather service spokane calling attention to some uh, fairly heavy rain moving across the area we'll look at that here in a moment but potential for debris flow mud rock slides and rises on small streams you can see where that flood watch is issued includes a lot of uh, idaho so southeast washington northeast oregon on and through montana as well and just another reminder here that we have record amount of fire uh, forest fires going on across a lot of British Columbia and most of Canada this year. It is record amounts. We have burned by far the most acreage up there across Canada so far this year versus any other year. And this is looking, we start have that air quality alert going on. But again, it looks like some improvement coming as we go through tonight. And here we go. Mm -hmm. Mesoscale um, precipitation discussion. You can see this is Idaho here, just kind of clipping southeast Washington, eastern Oregon right now. Localized flash flooding likely, and you're going to continue to train some of this precipitation over the same area here. You can see 110 knot jet. I'll show you what that means here in a moment. Kind of a deformation band at 10,000 feet, evident as the post tropical uh, remnants of Hill Hillary move up over the area there. And what they mean by that at 10,000 feet. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a back to a southeast flow here as well. Brought some moisture into the region, helping to feed some of this rain. And then you can kind of see at 10,000 feet here, the wind, as they call this the deformation band here, as this system moves up and across the region here, it kind of hangs out and brings some enhanced rainfall in this area. And you can see our upper level low as we go through the day tomorrow could bring some rain to western Washington. We'll look at that map here in a moment as well. This is looking at way up in the atmosphere of the jet stream. You can see the big ridge out here to the right, and you can see the 
the jet stream moving up across Oregon, Washington, Canadian border, all the way up into the provinces up there as well. Kind of highlighting the fact that we have the trough here, Big Ridge here, and all that tropical moisture moving up in between it. Now, this is looking at the big ridge across uh, the lower 48 here in the uh, tropical system here in the upper level low. We've got our trough here coming across Pacific Northwest. We've put that into motion. You can see it moving down and swinging through the area as we go through the day tomorrow, bringing some precipitation to the region here. Not a lot, but it is noticeable in some, and it will be kicking an onshore flow. And then we have the potential for going back to somewhat of an offshore flow as we go through the end of the week here. So that's something we'll be watching, of course, since there's so much smoke across a lot of British Columbia and eastern Washington, Oregon, the Cascades, any on offshore flow will bring that smoke back down into the big metropolitan areas here. So we'll watch that closely over the next few days. This is looking at the thunderstorm outlook today, tomorrow, and the next day. You can kind of see that off through Spokane, Idaho, and Montana each day. And here we go with... Uh, the surface level flow, or just off the surface here, 2,500 feet, you can kind of see an onshore flow coming on in through tonight. This will be this evening about 8 o'clock, and you can kind of see an onshore flow going on across western Washington, Oregon. Not impressively strong, but it is there, and that kind of weakens and gets a little bit squirrely tomorrow. But then we have the trough coming through. It could bring some precip here because you kept getting up the winds again here in eastern Washington. But then you'll see as we go on in through Thursday, you kind of see that return of some of the offshore flow here. Not good for the potential of bringing smoke back into western portions here as well. So hopefully, uh, I mean, it, it happens at times here during the summer, and it might warm us up a bit here, but it's going to introduce some smoke back into the region. So not the best news there. Sorry about that. And here we are with the European as well. We already kind of went over this, but just kind of showing you the big ridge over the center portion of the country here. And we'll scroll out here a bit more and just kind of see the trough dropping through. And you can kind of see that ridge. And that would bring that offshore flow. The low pressure would be here. You get higher pressure over the interior here. And you try to bring it, that airflow back out there, and, which in case would bring some smoke over the region. This kind of shows you the remnants there, Hillary, moving up over the area. You can see all this precipitable water, unusually moist, moving up across eastern Oregon into southwest east Washington into Idaho and Montana as well as it continues to move across the ridge there. And then we get our trough rolling through here. Now let's take a look at precipitation about <coughs> amount here. Excuse me. This is last night's European run 06 Z. You can see some of this very heavy rain across the Blue Mountains here, clipping Washington into Idaho and Montana. But look for tomorrow. Do you believe it? We might get some showers here across western Washington, up into the foothills, and better amounts up here across BC as well. Hopefully that can help with some of the fires out there also. And not a lot, but it's something. You know, you gotta beggars can't be choosers you got to take what you can get at this time of year and then something to kind of a little disturbance off the shore here maybe bring in a few additional showers across the region here as well that's something we'll watch over the next few days also this is looking at the nam 3 km we're looking at composite reflectivity this is what the doppler radar may look like as we go through the day today and continue to see this moderate rainfall here and we'll have some thunderstorms probably develop here during the afternoon and evening hours across idaho montana wyoming and some of oregon there as well as we go through tomorrow in fact, let's update that a little bit again here, and let's see what those thunderstorms look like as we go on in through Tuesday as well. So here we go on to Tuesday morning. You can see some rainfall. This would be beneficial across eastern Washington here. Let's hope this comes to fruition. And as we go through the afternoon hours, you can see some of these stronger storms still up across portions of the Blue Mountains here. Maybe the Oregon Cascades can't roll out a thunderstorm there as well. Idaho, some stronger storms rolling across the area here, as you can kind of see the spin in the atmosphere. Not showing a lot of shower precipitation here with the NAM 3KM across western Washington, but there are some showing up here too as well. So, you know, we'll take what we can get, right? Now, taking a look here, this is looking at surface-based CAPE. Let's update this and make sure we have the most recent data here. And we'll let this run through. This is kind of the fuel that can bring some of that thunderstorm activity. And really, Tuesday is what we're watching. Some stronger storms could be developing out here. It could be a little bit interesting here, bring some prolific lightning with it and some heavy rain on in through mainly Tuesday. And kind of see a little bit of instability here as well with the trough swinging through of Vancouver Island, western Washington as well on through tomorrow. This is looking at day one excessive rainfall outlook. They've got a slight across Oregon and Idaho and Montana as well. And day two, they kind of include southeast Washington. They did include some portions of eastern Washington and the marginal risk there as well. As you saw some of that rainfall training over the area definitely would be beneficial across that region. And day three, finally out of our area. This is six to 10 day, goes through August 30th, above average general signal here. And here we go, six to 10 day precipitation outlook here. You can see that we're going to be above average 
coverage probably on and through the end of August for some portions of the Pacific Northwest. Looking at the temperature today, at least according to the National Blend of Models, 79, pretty similar to yesterday. A little bit less smoke, and then we cool down a bit tomorrow, start getting some of that onshore flow. And we start to bounce back a little bit as we go through Wednesday. And you can see by Thursday, Friday, we're warming up. We could potentially have some offshore flow going on and maybe dealing with some smoke here west of the Cascades into southwest BC again here as we go towards the weekend. But looks like a fairly warm weekend coming up here. If we can avoid that smoke, we'll see how that goes and trends over the next few days. And the drought monitor was released a few days ago as well. We did have some severe drought introduced across portions of southeast Washington. The Cascades extended a little bit further down. So you can see we do have some drought across Pacific uh, Northwest, some moderate and some severe and some abnormally dry across a lot of the areas as well. So anyway, yeah, that's what's going on here, folks. Upper level low brought that tropical storm up across California. It is now a depression moving across some of Oregon, Idaho, bringing that rain across the area. But kind of an interesting look at the heat transfer. It's bringing all this moisture up and around the ridge and trying to bring it up towards the poles, kind of the general circulation of the planet. Here goes our trough out here. Hopefully it can bring us some showers west of the Cascades and looking forward to that improvement in the smoke across the area. But anyway, yeah, if you guys won that mug, make sure to contact me an email or direct message me on twitter and i will ship that out to you and uh, anyone any mugs that don't get claimed i'll go ahead and give those away in a giveaway here coming up soon i'll also give away some other mugs and we're going to do a weather station giveaway as well so anyway hopefully you guys can be a part of that if you click that join button down below and you are a member you'll be entered automatically so anyway hope you guys are liking the videos we'll do this again tomorrow and i will talk to you guys then